My name is Gary Chapman. I was born in Xenia, Ohio in 1961. Um, I went to Berea College, which is a small liberal arts college in Kentucky. And it was there uh, my junior year, I took a painting class and everything kind of clicked. So I petitioned to stay an extra year so that I could do the art major along with my other major. So I double majored in uh, visual arts and uh, I have a BS in industrial arts as well. And I started so late in college that I felt like I was just really kind of get, getting going. And so the Master of Fine Arts was the obvious choice. Um, so I applied to some grad schools and I got accepted to Cranbrook Academy of Art well, and graduated school, there with my uh, a real need to get to the East Coast. Uh, I wanted to be near New York, but I decided not to move to New York. Uh, I landed a gig, um, a, a, a good working situation in Philadelphia, and I lived in Philly for a year. And then during the summers, I would go to Interlochen Center for the Arts, which is in northern Michigan, and teach uh, a summer class. So then the next year, I decided to try Baltimore. I ended up living in Baltimore for three years. Uh, each year, I was applying for professorships, and after four years, uh, I landed the job here at UAB and moved to Birmingham in 1990, where I've been teaching ever since. I teach painting and drawing at the University of Alabama at Birmingham. So, of course, this project is for the Montgomery Museum of Fine Arts, uh, and they own uh, a rather large piece that I did in the 90s uh, called Mutter and Tochter. Mutter and Tochter is a really good example of one kind of work that I do, which is more the straightforward sort of pictorial reality. And Mutter and Tochter, um, really uh, evolved out of just a visual experience, uh, which is not unlike my work, but it's certainly just one aspect of the way I work. Uh, uh, to be literal or, or straightforward, uh, the model, uh, her name was Carlina Kirst. She was the German professor at UAB, and we both had come to UAB in 1990, and within a few years just kind of fell upon each other and, and became friends. And uh, I was driving through Five Points, and I'd seen Carlina now many, many times and never even thought about painting her. But uh, I saw her walking across the street, and she had this long skirt on, and of course she's very Germanic, and she's a big, rather tall, strong woman. And she just had this stride about her that was just incredibly uh, attractive and, and uh, noteworthy. And I knew I wanted to paint her then. So then, so in talking to her about that, and of course she had just had her child, uh, Alice, who is the, the other model in the painting, it just evolved into this sort of um, symbolic representation of motherhood. And, and you know, some of this happened after the fact because it really was my purely responding to her and her aesthetic, her, her presence. Um, and then in deciding to paint her and, and, and how to pose her, and then after the fact even, all kinds of things have sort of come to my mind to, to realize, in fact, what that painting is about. And for me, it's, it, it has always been, and much of my work is about accountability. And this idea that uh, the way we raise young girls today is, um, I think we have to really question um, how we address certain issues with them. And uh, while Carlina doesn't come across maybe as sort of the traditional mother, um, I think she's probably a really fantastic mother and that uh, she sort of has stripped bare and not afraid to be a strong woman because um, ultimately I think that's where our daughters learn to be women is, is through their mothers. And, and so the painting is about that incredibly strong bond and the importance of, of how we address things such as sexuality, um, appearance, uh, marketing economy, and, and all those superficial things that uh, girls get entangled because of the way society treats women. So for me, it was very much about re-examining the role of mother and showing her as a powerful role model. Uh, and I think kind of sexy too, although she's not uh, the the uh, typical beauty, I think there's, there's real beauty in her power.